What's the connection between the painting you see here and this music? They're both expressions of the same popular medieval symbol, the Wheel of Fortune. Rochester's Wheel of Fortune was painted in the 1200s and is one of the rarest and finest wall paintings in an English church, but only part of it survives. The other part was destroyed during the Civil War of the 1640s and its turbulent aftermath. The painting was only rediscovered during restoration work in the 1800s when a pulpit that once stood here was moved and the protected section emerged from its hiding place. The woman at the center of the wheel is Fortuna and she controls its turning. The three men around the edge represent various levels of success in life. At the top is a man at the peak of his fortune. He's wealthy and powerful. We can tell this because he's sitting down, a sign of high status. And to medieval viewers, his clothes were obviously of the best quality. But what about the missing side? Other surviving examples of medieval wheels allow us to have a good guess at what it might have looked like. So what we would probably see is a fourth man falling from power and returning to the bottom of the pile. For the medieval audience, this was a clear warning against craving money, power and earthly success. They drew the lesson that we can just as easily be knocked down by Fortuna as lifted up by her. Christians would say that they place their trust in God's grace rather than in the fickle power of Lady Fortuna. Whatever you believe, by raising universal questions about who or what is in control of our lives, this medieval image on the cathedral's ancient stones still resonates in our own times. <laughs>